Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and in today's video I'm super super excited because I'm gonna be playing around with a new brand today and that brand is Auric. This is Samantha Ravendahl's brand new brand. They launched with two products, the Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer and then the Smoke Reflect Cream and Powder Eyeshadow Duo. And I'm just really, really excited. I love the way that this look turned out. Congratulations to Sam, congrats to the whole team. I'm really, really happy. I love the way that this look turned out. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and hearing my thoughts on the brand new products, then just keep on watching. Shit. All right, got my gold light on in the back. I already primed my lids. I set my brow bone and I also tossed on like a little bit of a neutral brown into my crease just kind of as a transition. And I have today two of the Smoke Reflex from Auric. I have the Temper Shade and then the Ego Shade. So I have kind of like the rose gold one and then the more kind of silver one. Let's make it these out of the packaging. I literally, I cannot get over how gorgeous this packaging is. It's so, so, so pretty. And these are, like they feel so heavy and nice and just, Mm, chef's kiss. They're so 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 pretty. All right, so let me get everything opened and I will swatch everything for you All right, so right here we have Ego this is the cream the Topper and then the two layered together and then right here would be Temper so again the cream the topper and then the two layered together I will say very first like impression of touching them the cream is a lot more emollient than I was kind of expecting I don't know why and then the topper is a little bit drier than I was expecting but they layered beautifully everything swatched beautifully so I'm gonna use both of these today I'm gonna start off by going into the Ego Cream and I'm gonna go in with this kind of slightly fluffy, like angled shader brush and I'm just going to put that on my outer corners. stop blending it probably about halfway on my lid I kind of want to build this out to like a little bit of a point And then real quick, I'm gonna take a completely clean blending brush and I'm just gonna run that over the top edge. And quickly do the same thing to the other side. So I am taking my brush and I'm literally just going tap tap and just kind of picking up a little bit on the brush I'm not going too crazy I want to slowly build it up All right, so right out of the gate, it could be looking a little bit patchy because it is more metallic, but it looks just a little bit patchy right in this area right here. I need to play around with it a little bit more. I think once I get everything on there, it'll look a lot better. Um, but we will see. It shears out really well. It's not incredibly crazy pigmented like it's pigmented when you go in with your finger and you do swatches because you're laying down a little bit your finger picks up more product just inherently 
but with a brush it's definitely a little bit more sheer it's not it's very emollient and this has been on my eyes for a couple minutes now this eye right here is a little bit more hooded than this eye so it tends to crease up just a little bit and it doesn't look like it's creasing quite yet but I feel like even if it were to start to I could easily fix that by putting the foil topper over top of it so next up I'm gonna go into temper in with a small kind of little fluffy brush and I'm gonna start building that up on my inner corner blending that into ego so as you can see my brush doesn't pick a whole lot up So this one definitely doesn't seem to be anywhere near as patchy appearing. I think honestly a part of that could be just how the light is reflecting off of it. And just not inherently being used to seeing like a foil shadow like out here. Alright, next up I'm going to dip into the Temper Foil Shadow and I'm just going to go in with my finger, pick a little bit up, and then I'm going to start pressing that onto my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Ego and go right in this area right here. Just blend those two together. The powder foil in uh, the topper in Ego doesn't feel nearly as like dry as Temper. I definitely like let me do it side by side. So when I do it, I'm going swirl, swirl. And as you can see, temp or ego definitely picks up a lot more than tempo does. Temper. And even just like the outright swatches are just a little bit more pigmented. It could just be a slight difference in the formulation between colors. And the fact that Ego is a little bit deeper of a shade. But I think that this is really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to jump off really quick, toss on just a little bit of a line on my lash line, get my face ready. So kind of my plan with the Glow Lust is I'm actually going to split my face into thirds. So one cheek, one cheek, and then my forehead. I want to try to use Glow Lust in as many ways as possible and really see how many different ways it can be used um, involving you know as a primer mixed in with foundation as a highlight over powder over cream products I want to see I want to try it all so I'm gonna get my face ready for that and I will be right back all right so what I did was I put on my oil underneath my eyes on both sides like I always do and then I took primer like regular primer and I put it on this side and I put it on my forehead as well. So I'm going to go in with the Auric Glow Lust. I've said it already in this video. I cannot get over this packaging. It is so incredibly pretty. Let me crack her open. This bottle, stunning. Perfect. Everything about it, gorgeous. Um, I got the shade Selenite, which is the second in the line, which is a little bit more of a neutral undertone. Um, I know Morganite was a little bit more pink, and then I'm honestly not sure what shades come after it. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. 
So first thing that I want to do is I want to squeeze a little bit out of this and actually use it as primer on this side. So on this side, all that I have is just a little bit of SPF and then obviously my glow, or not my glow, and then obviously like my oil primer, but it's pretty much sunken at this point. I know Sam had said that this was really hard to take off. Oh my God, seriously? Does it unscrew? No, 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 it does not unscrew. Don't unscrew it. How do I? Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. That was so difficult. Okay. It's got a pump. A very tight lid. I, I, if I recall correctly in her video, she said it loosens over time, which is good. But let me squirt a little bit out, show you guys what it looks like. There we go. All right. So. Oh, that feels so good. And that is what it looks like all blended out really really pretty it definitely is it's a little bit thicker which I appreciate no fragrance which is awesome all right so I'm gonna take probably about that much and why am I doing this with my left hand blend this onto my skin. I really just want to see how much it will peek through foundation. So that is what it looks like on bare skin. You can see just a little bit of that tint is coming through. This side looks just a little bit, honestly, just a little bit deeper than my actual face, but my face is inherently much deep, much, my face is inherently much lighter than the rest of my body. So that's fine. But it's very, very, very shiny, very pretty looks much shinier shiny it looks much shinier than this side which just has regular primer on it okay so real quick let me get my face ready for foundation just toss on some under eye corrector and a little bit of concealer on my chin and I will be right back so what I did off camera was I took the pure 4-in-1 love your selfie foundation which is one of my favorite foundations it's a lot more kind of satin like it's not really super matte but it's not really super dewy either um, so I took a little bit of that and I mixed it kind of one-to-one -one with the glow Lust, and then I also have right here just the straight foundation by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just the straight foundation by itself. I'm going to put it on the side that I put glow Lust on and I'm also going to put it on my forehead. And then I'm going to take the side that I mixed the two together and I'm going to put it on this cheek. So kind of my plan with my forehead is I'm going to do my makeup how I normally would. So I'm going to set my... my so I'm going to set my forehead with powder, I'm going to put on powder bronzer, do all of that, and then when it comes time to put on the glow list as highlight, I want to put it on my brow bone area and kind of see how it plays with powder as well, because I am definitely somebody who prefers to powder down my face, so if it plays well with powder, then it'll be one of my favorite things to use. So I have my sponge right here, I'm going to use two different sides, I'm going to probably use the flat side for the regular foundation and then just use this side right here just to put on the glow lust mix so let's start with the let's start with the the regular foundation just so we have like a, a baseline with the forehead And then I'm going to go in with the mixed side. So I am noticing that it's sheared out the foundation just a little bit. Or it could be that I'm not applying as much because I'm using a different part of the sponge. But I'm going to just build it up just a little bit. And then since I have a way too much of the mix side. I'm just going to use that down my neck. All right, really quick, I wanted to test something. So right here is the Glow Lust mixed with the foundation, and this is just the straight foundation right here. It did 
kind of alter the shade just uh, just the teeniest tiniest little bit it made it just a little bit warmer which isn't an issue at all it's it's honestly not even noticeable on my face but it is something to consider if you're planning to mix if you want to use like a lot of the glow lust and just a little bit of the foundation it is going to alter the shade just the teeniest tiniest little bit all right so let's compare so we have our, our baseline forehead which is just a little bit shiny it's an unsought foundation so it's going to be a little bit shiny this side is definitely shinier than my forehead because it does have that glow lust underneath you can tell that it's peeking through and then this side is absolutely the shiniest having it all mixed together it definitely has the most shine and glow to it so i'm going to jump off really quick i'm going to put on some concealer powder just a little bit underneath my eyes powder my forehead bronzer blush basically get to the point where we're ready to do highlight so I'll be right back all right so I look a little funny with an unset cheeks very sh very glowy cheeks and a matte forehead but it's fine all right so I'm gonna dip back into the smoke reflex and do a little bit on my under eye I'm gonna take the same brush that I'd used earlier in ego and I'm just going to pick up some and just toss that onto my lower lash line So one thing to note here is it does seem to be going over powder really nicely because I did set my lower lash line, or I did set my under eyes rather. So it is going really nicely onto here. I'm going to take my clean brush that I used earlier and just diffuse this a little bit. And then I'm just going to take this little flat shader brush and I'm going to dip a little bit into temper and just build that up a little bit right in here. And then on my little flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the topper for temper and just build that up on my inner corner. Actually, I think I might layer the two together, kind of see what that looks like. All right, so I took my sponge and I actually just kind of scraped off the excess on my like washcloth which actually worked surprisingly well. Hmm. So I squirted out a pump of the Glow Lust and I'm gonna start off by just building it up on this side with the sponge. That might've been too much. Oh, wow. And then actually for the other side, I'm just going to use my finger to see how that goes. I think the sponge is the way to go. Yeah. The sponge kind of just picks it up and diffuses it just, just perfectly. So it doesn't appear to be like picking up my foundation or anything like that. And then for the final test, I'm gonna take a little bit on the sponge and I'm gonna build it up on my brow bone area. So this whole, my whole forehead is completely powdered. So this is just gonna be a big game to see how it plays with powder.
And then I actually want to take like a little brush and do it on the other side just to see how it works with a brush. Sponge is definitely the way to go. So it's definitely a little bit more subdued over powder. When I was using the brush, it did start to pick up my foundation just a little bit. So sponge is definitely the way to go. When you're working with it over powder though, you can start, you can definitely see like a line of demarcation where it goes like matte and then suddenly shiny. So you kind of have to blend it out a little bit more, but it looks pretty. It's more subtle over powder, which is totally fine, but it's, it's very pretty. It's gorgeous on the cheekbones. I love it on the cheekbones. So far, I am happy with it. I'm gonna jump off and kind of powder down just a little bit of my face because I'm like very, I'm like too much right in this area right here. So I'm gonna fix that up and I am going to finish up the rest of my face and I will be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so I went in and I sat down like kind of this honestly like this whole area of my face and then I put a little bit of powder down here as well and I like that a lot more now I did add just a little bit of powder blush because I would kind of covered it all up but I think that it looks so much better now and it really gives the glow lust like the ability to shine because it's not as you know it's not blending in with all of the other shine that was on my face so I like it actually a, a lot more now with like a, some powder on my skin I definitely can see myself wearing it like this. Um, I also definitely could see myself using it as a primer or mixed in with my foundation as well. I loved all of the different ways that I used it. Let me double check in here for a minute. I don't necessarily love it over powder. Um, it worked. It was just a little bit more finicky. It, it did pick up the powder and my foundation just a little bit. It's to be expected. It was a liquid product over powder that's that's gonna happen um but i think that overall the glow lust is so gorgeous it looked beautiful on the skin i am a huge fan i love the way that it felt i love that it was a little bit thicker it just kind of almost made it a little bit easier to work with i feel like with really really thin liquid highlights like the almost like the ones that are in like the droppers those get really really hard to work with i love that this is a shine and a glow without being like in your face like metallic i i so i'm i'm really really happy with this in regards to the smoke reflex i actually think that they're really really pretty i definitely think that once you put the topper on top it really just brought the whole look together i'm so happy with how this turned out i think it's really pretty i i went into it kind of expecting the creams to be a little bit more pigmented and now granted i could go in with my finger and they would have been a hell of a lot more pigmented than what they were but i wanted to go in for kind of a softer more blown out look it's kind of how i was planning to use it and i'm really really happy i think it's really pretty nothing has creased or anything like that so i'm really really happy with how they turned out overall the whole launch was phenomenal launch day was great I got in I got out in fact I overslept and I got in and I got out I didn't have any issues at all with the website they did a really really great job with it I'm I'm really happy with how it turned out I I did have you know a little bit of a patchiness issue with the um, the smoke reflect on my left eye why did I have to think about that I did have a little bit of a patchiness issue kind of in this area Again, I'm not sure if it's just how the, the light was catching it because it is a little bit more metallic or if it was truly just my face because I didn't have that issue on this side. So it's quite possible that it was just my face. But again, like I said, overall, I'm pleased. I'm definitely excited to continue playing around with them. Super excited to see what the brand comes out with in the future. I think that the packaging is so incredibly pretty. I know I've said it. 3,000 times, but just the gold on top and the drips and just everything about it is just so pretty. They're all really heavy. They feel very, very luxurious. 
it's great. So congratulations to Sam. Congratulations to everyone that works at Auric. You guys did a beautiful job and I cannot wait to see what you guys put out in the future. That's going to wrap up today's video. Comment down below and tell me if any of the items from the Auric launch excited you. Did you pick something up? I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. La, la.